In this video, I'm going to answer your question. Should you still sanitize data when using binded values with PDO or MySQLi? Hey everybody, what's up? John Morris here with another episode of John Morris TV. And in this episode, I'm going to answer one of your questions. So I recently received a question from Graham Midgley. And what Graham was asking was, should he still use MySQL real escape string when binding values with PDO or MySQLi? Now, the simple answer to that question is no, but I also want to give you some background because there's certain scenarios when you still want to sanitize data and why you don't also cover why you don't need to with PDO or MySQLi. The way it used to work is that you would take form input data, you would usually put that into a variable and then you would inject that data into your MySQL query in order to add that data to the database. Now, a big problem with that is there were, uh, a vulnerability was discovered where called an SQL injection attack where a hacker could actually inject SQL code into your query and be able to perform certain actions within the database. And of course, that's not something that you want. So what was developed was a PHP function called MySQL real escape stream. And essentially what that would do is it, was a, is it would escape or sanitize any kind of input data and make it safe so that no SQL injection attacks could occur on that particular piece of data. Now, again, that wasn't 100% foolproof, but that was really became the standard way that you would protect against SQL injection attacks. But with PHP 5, the PHP developers introduced a full class for MySQL functions. And in that class, there was something that was called prepared statements. And what prepared statements allow you to do is use Sprintf-like syntax and put placeholders in your SQL query and then later on bind values to those placeholders. And so as a part of that, when you bind values to those placeholders, again, th these values that you're binding are input data from a form or wherever they may come from. When you bind those values, those parameters, PHP will go ahead and sanitize that data for you. And now that happens whether you're using PDO or My MySQLi. It happens whether you're using bind value, bind parameter, or just uh, using the execute statement to bind values. No matter which way you do it, PHP is going to go ahead and sanitize that data for you. So the reason that you don't need to sanitize data when using prepared statements is because PHP is already doing it for you, so it, it would really be redundant. Now, I want to make sure that I clarify some things and kind of give you a catch-all because there's a lot of different creative ways that you may be creating queries and there's lots of people doing lots of things and so I want to make sure that there's kind of a catch-all out there and what that what I mean by that is that if you are using bind value bind parameter or the execute method to bind values to a placeholder in your query then the sanitation is being done for you but if you have some other way or some of something else that you're doing in your query where you have some sort of input data that is dynamically changing what your query is, then it's always a good idea to still use MySQL real escape string to escape that particular data if it's not being bound using the binding methods that are now available in PHP. So again, I don't know exactly what scenario that might be for you, but you want to pay attention to that. Values that are bound using bind value, bind parameter, or the execute method are being sanitized for you, so you don't really have to worry about it. Anything else that you might do, then you want to go ahead and you want to escape that data using MySQL real escape string. So again, that's the answer to your question, Graham. In the majority of cases, uh, when you're binding values, you do not need to use MySQL real escape string because it's, uh, the sanitation is already being done for you. So hopefully that answers your question. Now, if you have a question, I want to try to answer it for you. You can tweet me at JP Morris on Twitter. You can ask your question on Facebook at facebook.com slash John Morris Online, or you can visit my website at johnmorrisonline.com and fill out my contact form to send me an email. You do that, and I'll be sure to look over your question. If I can get onto a video, I sure will. Now, one last thing before you go. If you like this video, please do me a favor and like it below. That way I know this is the kind of content that you want me to keep delivering for you. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, why not? Go ahead and subscribe wherever that button is on this page to my YouTube channel so you can get more videos just like this one. If you know someone who would benefit from this video, I'd sure appreciate it if you'd share it with them. Again, thanks for watching today's episode, and I'll talk to you next time.